The anniversary is almost here, one that you might think no one in a certain part of America wants to be reminded of. But the people of New Orleans and the Gulf region are hardier souls than that. To those who survived Katrina, they will defiantly spit at Mother Nature and remind her they are still here and we are not going anywhere. In the destruction, nothing was more effective than a staple of the Big Easy. Those one-of-a-kind eateries that draw people from around the world. Many businesses never recovered. Our next guest dug in and said, not in my kitchen. His name rolls off the palate of foodies everywhere. Award-winning chef, former U.S. Marine, 12 restaurants in New Orleans, and author of the forthcoming book, Besh Big Easy, 101 Home-Cooked New Orleans Recipes. I'm hungry right now. Grab a napkin and fork. Let us dig in with John Besh. Chef, it's a pleasure to have you on the show, and knowing full well that you spent time as a Marine, you spent time overseas, you spent some time in some horrible locations and saw some very difficult things. Do you still have nightmares when you compare that with what you saw after Katrina? You know, I uh, had very little compares to the chaos, to the destruction, to the despair that uh, was left in the wake of Hurricane Katrina. Uh, it, it was uh, nearly insurmountable. And if you would have asked me 10 years ago if we would be where we are today, I would have thought that you were, you know, you were definitely on drugs. <laughs> but here we are. 10 years later, and we can actually talk about it. Did you ever at any time, and I know that New Orleans is so special to you, but when you looked at what was going on, you saw the destruction, wasn't there a moment, maybe just a second, where you said, maybe I, maybe I don't belong here, maybe we've got to go? I have people in other parts of the country offering me jobs, and uh, on several occasions, some big developers called me a loser for wanting to stay here, you know, saying that, you know, you're, you're, you won't allow yourself to be successful. And, but where would I go? You know, this was my mission. I had been given a great talent by God. I can cook good food. I can make people happy in my restaurants. And I realized at that time, during the chaos uh, that ensued just after Hurricane Katrina, that I can make a difference and that we all can using the resources that we have available. And that's what we did. We're, we're proud that we actually dug in. We're proud that we have uh, played a role in the restoration of uh, the only, uh, possibly the only uh, indigenous urban culture left in the United States. Why do I get the feeling that a guy like yourself, when I see that you also have the John Besh Foundation, that you look at everything you've done. You've opened up more restaurants. You put more people to work. You're staying put in Nolens, but you probably look at everything and say, I haven't done enough yet. There's still a lot I've got to do. Well, there's a lot we all need to do. Uh, you know, we're an incredible city with this incredible culture, and I love the fact that I'm the standard bearer that gets to pass it, you know, that baton to the next generation. Uh, with that being said, you know, we, we've done a lot. But we have so much more work to do. Uh, New Orleans is, I think, surpassed um, anybody's expectations as far as rebuilding. But you know, we still we still have issues that we need to attack. And so it's not just about food. It's just not about culture. But it's about each one of us here doing what we can to lift all the residents of New Orleans up. There are a lot of people that were forgotten during the storm. A lot of people that have lost everything. There were neighborhoods that haven't come back and that possibly won't come back. Meanwhile, while we have one part of the city that's uh, just bustling and booming right now, and a lot of it has to do with our, with our industry of hospitality, uh, you have other parts of the city that um, they're struggling to get those neighborhoods back. And so I think until we've lifted everybody up, we haven't done enough. You get the feeling sometimes that the rest of America has forgotten about what happened? Well, I think it's easy for all of us to get caught up in our daily lives and forget, and especially now with uh, all the politics taking place on national level, stealing so much of the uh, news coverage that it is hard. But, you know, there, there's inner cities all over this country um, have their own issues. You know, every big city has an issue. Uh, New Orleans, the issues just really came to the forefront um, in a much more dramatic way because of the wake of Hurricane Katrina. And with that being said, we've had a chance to right so many of the wrongs. We have better public housing today, better public school system, better public transportation, but we can still do more. I only got about 45 seconds left. We're gonna show some pictures here. So if you would, please tell us a little bit about your food because when I walked around and told people we were going to interview you, they said, oh my, food porn. <laughs> we, our food is really all about telling a story, a story of a people, the story of the lands that we come from, the, the uh, 
salt marsh estuaries that surround New Orleans give us the great blue crabs and the white and brown shrimp, and they give us all these incredible delicacies that truly make us who we are. We also have this great melting pot culture. Each each uh, person that came to New Orleans to assimilate in this Creole culture left us with the flavors of the old country by creating something new. Yes, I'm looking for reservations on the plane right now. Uh, reminder once again, everybody, the book is called Besh Big Easy, 101 Home-Cooked New Orleans Recipes. And I guarantee you, yes, it is food porn worth every single drop that is there. Chef Besh, a pleasure, my friend. Thanks so much for joining us. Continue rebuilding New Orleans. We'll look forward to being at one of your restaurants sometime soon. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, our pleasure. Take care. Stay with us. The fastest 60 minutes and the hungriest 60 minutes in news continues.